This video is brought to you by Sailrite. We're going to show you how to install the metal clam cleat in this video. This is the metal clam cleat for a leech line. Okay, we want to position it so that the line will enter and exit on this side. I'm going to put it on here. Mark where my holes are at. On it so that this is toward the outside. Your line will come out and go in, come out. We're going to place it at an angle and we take five stitches around each side to anchor it. And what I like to do myself first is to kind of mark where I'm going to put my stitches at so that they're more evenly consistent. where the holes are are going to be put. We'll put the rubber cutting feet. block on the back side to prevent damage to the 1 8 inch hole cutter that we're, we're going to use now. We're center. using a heavy mallet uh, with this hole cutter. You can use a dead blow hammer as well. A standard hammer will take several punches before you punch through because the fabric. The thickness down here, I go ahead and pre-punch my holes first. Deb has some arthritis, so she doesn't like to use a palm, so she typically pre-punches the hole with a scratch-all. Then she'll use the uh, hand needle and some pre-wax twine. Okay, I put this on here, and I have my needle threaded for one side. And what I like to do is come up through the bottom, through one of the holes here. Doesn't really matter which one. The end of her twine has a knot. Okay, and then what we're going to do is come down in through the center with each stitch to look kind of like a spider effect. And then tighten each stitch down as you go. Okay, back down through the center. We have our five stitches around that end. Now we just need to tie off the line. But you want to make sure that you slide underneath the stitches that are already pulled tight here at once. Then I like to come back to the initial knot and just kind of knot around that. And I use that to anchor. And then I make my knot. And then we'll take our hot knife and melt these knots off. That keeps it nice and tight. Off. Wax twine. We need another length of the wax twine, so Deb's cut the wax twine and then she's going to feed it through the needle to double it up and then put a knot on the end. I like using the smaller needles because they're easier to get through. 
the smaller needles are easier to get through the scratch all holes that Deb made. However, if you're going to use a palm, you may want to use a little bit bigger needle to prevent it breaking. The best sailmaker hand needles that I know of are made by the company William & Smith. I would always recommend purchasing the William & Smith hand needles. Those are sold in multi-packs. Okay, and we're ready to start the other side. And we'll do this the same way. Going through the bottom. We'll not be showing all of this, but we do want to show there's a point that Deb has a hard time getting the needle through the hole, and you'll see her using some needle nose pliers. That's always acceptable. Using a sailmaker's palm is also a good way to push the needle through, but at this point you'd have to use needle nose pliers. Now we're going to use the professional or angle hot knife. If you don't have this, you can use a wood burning tool or a soldering gun or even lighter. Be careful. Touching the end of the pre wax twine makes a beautiful button that helps prevent it from pulling out. All right, now Jeff Frank's going to explain a little bit about how to use this uh, leech line cleat. Well, leech line cleat gets placed this way, so the tension, if you tension the leech line to pull some load on your leech line, pull up cleat. Some people think that, oh, well, that can't be right because this will, gravity will take it like that. Well, under load, if you pull it tight and there's some load to it, where this is tight, which obviously that's what the leech line is for, to tighten that line, under load, this will enforce what the cleat's doing. This won't, this under load will keep this from uncleating it. And then if you wanted to uncleat it, you just pull down and let loose on the line. And certainly under load, if you cleated it when it's not under load here, this is going to just come out, but it should. There's no load in it, no reason for you to be using the leech line in that case. Many more helpful tips are available at sayarite.com. Thanks for watching.